Hey everyone, Alex Oliver here with Young and Free Tennessee. We are at the Dragon Boat Race at Concord Park in West Knoxville, and there is a huge turnout. We have got the rowers right here behind me. There's people in the water, all types of just like exciting events. There's tons of vendors out here. A great turnout, and it's all for an even better cause for the Knoxville Area Rescue Ministries. So we're gonna go cheer on the Young and Free machine and see what's happening here at Concord Park. She said, you know, there's nowhere else to go. We change in rows. It struck me that the two of us could run. We caught up with everybody at the Young and Free tent here, and they are representing. We've got the premier spot on the lake here, and the whole crew is getting ready to ride at two o'clock, and the Young and Free machine is gonna win it all. <laughs> Tell me what it felt like on the first round. Oh, it was exhilarating. Tell me what the technique is to get a dragon boat, right, or a dragon boat moving quickly. It's all in the synchronization. Just gotta do it all together. How beneficial is it to have the, the drum beating on the boat? Well, as your drummer, I would say it's the most important part of the boat. Young Free Tennessee! Oh! Paige, I really want to know what technique you have to have to be a good drummer. Well, first of all, you're sitting up really high, so you got to kind of grab onto the seat, and then this hand is your drumming hand. And you have to scream and drum at the same time, so it takes a lot of hand-eye vocal coordination. Now, as a rower, would you say on a level of 1 to 10, how much is Tyler pulling from this boat? Oh, at least 110. So yeah, Tyler is probably going about 10 times harder than anybody else in the Young and Free Machine. It's all about the game face. You gotta have that fierce look to scare the other opponents. Intimidation, there you have it. That's how the Young and Free Machine wins the race. But I really couldn't ever know how to win you. I am excited. Young and Free Tennessee! Woo! Young and Free Tennessee! Woo! Tell me how many people are inside the Young and Free Machine. About 20? Yeah, I think it's 20. 20. And how fast are we rowing? We're like lightning. One, two, three. It's going to be a very fierce competition today. As you can see, our competitors are shaking in fear. Young Freak Tennessee! And they are about to just go wild on the water. We will be on the water, ready to represent ORNL Federal Credit Union. We've got our helicopter right up here in the sky. And that is for Young and Free Tennessee, ORNL Federal Credit Union. We caught up with some staff here from the Dragon Boat Race. You've seen the Young and Free Machine rowing all day long. Just tell me how fierce the, the team really is. They are amazing. Fearfully good. The Young and Free Machine is about to exit the hold pattern and get on the Dragon Boat. Tell me why Knoxville Area Rescue Ministries is so excited about the Dragon Boat Races. It's our largest fundraiser of the year. Last year we raised $96,000 to feed and clothe the homeless. This year our goal is $150,000. We're really just trying to restore some lives in Jesus' name. I spend as much time teaching them cooking techniques as I hopefully teach them in spiritual guidance. It is huge and it's really what matters, so uh, that's really where m most of my heart goes in that program. It was a beautiful day here at Concord Park. We had the Dragon Boat Races to benefit the Knoxville Area Rescue Ministries. The Young and Free Machine by ORNL Federal Credit Union just killed the competition. It was so good. Uh, they did happen to come in third in standing, but they were first in heart. We encourage everybody to check out the Dragon Boat Races next year. It's an awesome event, and there's a huge turnout. Visit YoungFreeTennessee.com. Young and Free Tennessee! Woo!